what is up everybody how you doing today hope everybody's doing great on this wednesday um i'm gonna be doing something different here on the channel um i'm gonna be doing a series called the five minute bait review yes i'm gonna take a video do five minutes on it give five minutes to that certain bait that i've tested or tried out and give my honest opinion to y'all because there's a lot of people out there that are looking for reviews for new stuff they see out uh, that's for catfish. Um, yeah, sure, you can go out and catch your own bait for catfish, but there's a lot of us that like trying stuff. Like, I like going to Walmart and I like buying different baits and trying to see if it works. So, uh, stay tuned and we're going to get down to reviewing my first product. Alright, so this is going to be my first product of review for this new series. Um, I recently bought, bought this off of Dale's Tackle Shop, a great website, great place to get catfish gear and other stuff. Um, I seen this, it struck my it struck me struck my interest pretty much. I was like, hmm, okay, let's let's try it out. So here's a picture of that product. Alright, as you can see there, all it is is an additive. Now, what you're supposed to do with it is add it into anything you're using for bait. You can use it on night crawlers, use it on chicken breasts, you can use it on shrimp. Uh, cut bluegill, cut shad, skipjack, anything you want to dip that in or let it soak in. Um, that's what its main purpose is. Now, a few of y'all known I've been using it for the last five or six trips. I want to say seven trip because the first day I got it, I used it. I just don't remember if it was a seventh trip or the sixth trip. I don't know. But I know I've used it 25 and six guaranteed trips. Uh, most of them are live. And most of them, one, of them, one trip I wasn't even live. I was fishing with the kids and I didn't go live. And uh, I was using it as well. Now, some of the products I use, I use them mainly in Fin Lakes here in Kentucky. Uh, fin Lakes are stocked with the uh, hybrid catfish, uh, with the hybrid channel cat and blue. What it is, they take a blue and a channel cat and they mix the breed and they call it a hybrid. They get bigger and quicker than a normal catfish. Um, so if they're not working in the waters I'm fishing, they're not gonna work. I don't, I don't believe so. Um, I tested this product out, uh, the Insanity Catfish and uh, stuff here. Um, I tried it out on the Kentucky River, not a bite. I used it on the Ohio River, not a bite. I've used it in two fin, two, yeah, two different fin lakes that I know is guaranteed to have fish in, and nothing. Now, what did I compare the bait to that was soaked in? You know, I soaked it in chicken breast. Is what I was using. Okay, what I did is I cut my chicken breast up in little small pieces. You know, for channel cats, that's what I was chasing. And, you know, I let it soak overnight before I went fishing. And both of the products, the Annie's one and the Mandarin, I can't, I'm not sure if I'm saying it from right, that correctly. But um, the Mandarin oil is like a really fishy fish oil. And I tried it in both. And I never got a bite on it, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I paid $6.99 each for each bottle for four ounces. And with shipping, I think it was like almost 20 bucks. 20 bucks for those two little uh, four ounce bottles. Uh, so was it worth it? No, I don't believe so. Will it work other places? It might in different areas, depending on the time of year. I mean, it could have just been a coincidence that I couldn't get nothing on it. But I was comparing it to normal chicken breast with Annie's, uh, Annie's from the store. You know, you buy a little bottle on the shelf, it's like $2.99. And that's what I was comparing them to. And that Annie's, you know, every trip I went, the Annie's and chicken breast saved my butt from getting skunks. Except for one trip. One trip it didn't work with. And that was the last one I was live at the Kentucky River. Um, I did catch a turtle on it. So, I mean, it caught a turtle, but that's not what I'm after. But I did get a few hits on uh, the normal Annie's at the Kentucky River. But I didn't catch nothing, you know. So that whole trip, none of the chicken breasts really worked. But, um, you know, this is something I just want to do and get out and share with y'all. But, um... Yeah, it, I, I, I tried I tried it everywhere, and I couldn't get nothing on it. I did it the same way as I did the Annie's. Uh, just a normal plain Annie's from the store, and it just didn't work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call this one a bust. I'm going to call this bait a bust for me. Now, someone else may have luck with it. I don't know. But for me, I'm not buying it no more. But, um, but um, yeah, there you go. You have it. Uh, just an honest, straight-up review i'm a you know i fish a lot i do a lot of channel cat fishing i do a lot of blue fishing a lot of flathead fishing uh believe it or not i have more fun chasing channel cats a lot of people prefer big big fish i don't care as long as i'm catching fish i'm having fun but uh this is going to wrap it up for today i gotta get back to work and uh i'll catch you on the next one so stay tuned and we'll have some more five minute reviews on baits bye y'all